directly from the book of Galatians. The conclusion of the first service, we will process into the church um, directly, and we will be, then begin the second service, which is the baptism itself. Uh, the difference between the two, you can tell one is sacrament and one is not, because the sacrament begins with the words, blessed is the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, instead of blessed is our God now and ever into the ages of ages. So with the blessed is the kingdom also indicates, which is the same um, beginning that we use for the, for the divine liturgy, for the Eucharistic service, um, we will take, uh, knowing that, then we know that it was connected to the Eucharistic service. So we'll begin the baptismal service. We'll bless the water, asking that our Lord, through the Holy Spirit, change the water that is in the baptismal font into the water of the Jordan, um, where Christ himself was baptized. You'll hear those words um, within the prayers. Once those prayers are completed, the baby is undressed and brought forward. We'll anoint her with oil. Um, anointing her with that oil then provides an opportunity for us to reflect upon scripture again, where many times Paul refers to um, those who are ready to go into battle or those who are ready to enter into a, an athletic contest, to, that they would be anointed with oil in order that their adversary would not be able to grab hold of them. Right? So for us at this time, the adversary is the evil one, the devil. We're praying that the devil will not be able to grab hold of her throughout her life. We'll then, t um, after she is anointed, she will be um, then baptized, which is the first sacrament. Immediately following that, she'll be placed in the arms of her godfather, and we will chrismate her. Now, in the Eastern Church, the Orthodox Church, chrismation and in the Western Church, confirmation are very similar to each other. In the Western Church, confirmation takes place later on. In the Orthodox Church, it takes place at the same time, so that the individual becomes a full member of the Church. And becoming a full member of the Church, sealed with the grace of the Holy Spirit, um, which is, are the words, actually, that are used as we anoint her with Holy Chrism, um, sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, then she is a full member of the Church, and able to participate in the third sacrament that will take place, which is the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Communion, which she will receive. So two services, three sacraments, and my explanation is probably far longer than the actual services themselves. <laughs> so, but, but we, need to, we need to learn, too. So we will begin in the back of the church. Um, we are trying to keep her occupied. Um, yeah, no, 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 stay far away. In fact, hide so that she doesn't see you. We got you covered. It's harder for the parents during a baptism than it is for the child, even when the child um, seems to be a little fussy, but she's good. Hi, Charlie. How are you, baby? Yeah, they're around here someplace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please stand. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. O Lord, God of truth, and in the name of in your name, and in the name of your only begotten Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, I lay my hand upon this, your servant, who has been worthy to be made flee, to flee unto your holy name, and to be under the protection of your wings. Remove far from her that former delusion, and fill her with faith, hope, and love, that she may know that you are the only true God, and your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and of your Holy Spirit. 
Enable her to obey all your commandments and to observe all those things which are pleasing to you, for it is in your will that man finds life. Inscribe your servant, Charlotte, in your book of life and unite her to the flock of your inheritance. May your holy name be glorified in her, together with your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and your life-creating Holy Spirit. May your eyes, O God, ever regard her with mercy, and may your ears attend to the voice of her prayer. Make her rejoice in the works of her hands and in all her generation, that she may glorify you, worshiping and praising your great and exalted name, and may she always sing praises to you all the days of her life. For every power in heaven sings praise to you, our God, and yours is the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Turn to face the back of the church. Stay right here. Yeah. Let us pray. The Lord put you, O devil, under banishment. He who came into the world and dwelt among men that might be destroyed by your tyranny and liberate mankind. He who on the cross did triumph over the adverse powers when the sun was darkened and the earth quaked and the graves were opened and the bodies of saints arose. He who by death annihilated death and put an end to him who has dominion over death, that is you, the devil. I charge you, O devil, by the power of God who has revealed the tree of life and has arrayed the cherubim and the flaming sword turning in all direction to guard it. I charge you to be banned. You are banned and depart, for I charge you by him who walks upon the surface of the sea as if it were dry land, who commanded the tempest of the winds to be calm, whose glance dries up every abyss, and whose threats melt the mountains. This very same Almighty God, through us, commands you now, be frightened, be gone, and depart from this your servant, Charlotte, and do not return, neither conceal yourself in her, nor seek to meet her to the influence of her, either by night or by day, in the morning or at noonday, but depart from here to your own infernal place until the ordained great day of judgment. Fear God, who is enthroned upon the cherubim and looks upon the abysses of your creation. Before him, all the angels of God, the archangels, the thrones, the dominions, the principalities, the authorities, the powers, the many-eyed cherubim, and the six-winged seraphim stand in fear and in awe of heaven and in earth. The sea and everything that they contain tremble before him. Be gone and depart from this, your newly enlisted soldier of Christ our God, for I charge you by him who walks upon the wings of the wind, who makes the very winds his messengers and the flaming fires his servants. Be gone and depart from this, your creation, and together with all your powers and evil spirits. For the name of God has been glorified of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, you are, true, you are the true being who created man according to your image and likeness and who endowed him to have eternal life. Yet after this fall through him, you did not despise your fallen creation, but provided through the incarnation of your Christ for the salvation of the whole world. O oh God, deliver also this creation of yours from the bondage of the enemy and receive her into your heavenly kingdom. Open the eyes of her understanding that the light of your gospel may shine brightly upon her. Yoke unto her life the shining angel to deliver her from every attack of the adversary, from encounter with evil, from the noonday demon, and from all evil dreams. Drive out from her every evil and unclean spirit hiding and lurking in her heart. Drive out from her every evil and unclean spirit hiding and lurking in her heart. Amen. Drive out from her every evil and unclean spirit hiding and lurking in her heart. Amen. The spirit of error, the spirit of evil, the spirit of idolatry and all covetousness that works according to the teaching of the devil. Make her a <clears throat> consecrated vessel, a daughter of light and an heir of your kingdom. By living according to your commandments, preserving the seal of allegiance unbroken and keeping the garment of righteousness undefiled, may she attain the blessedness of the saints of your kingdom. Through the grace, compassion, and love for humankind of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-creating spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? I do, I do renounce them. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? 
Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? Have you renounced him? Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced him. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced him. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced Then blow and spit upon him. Blow and spit. Turn and face the church. Do you unite yourself with Christ? I do unite myself to Christ. Do you, ha, do you unite yourself to Christ? I do unite myself to Christ. Do you unite yourself to Christ? I do unite myself to Christ. Have you united yourself with Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself with Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself with Christ? I have united myself to Christ. And do you believe in him? I believe in Christ as my Lord and my God. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day, according to the scriptures, and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the ages to come. Amen. Have you united yourself with Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself with Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Then bow and worship him. I bow down and worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the undivided Substantial holy truth. Blessed is God who desires that all people should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Lord, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord our God, call your servant Charlotte to your holy illumination. Make her worthy to receive this great and gracious gift of your holy baptism. Remove from her the old self and renew her for eternal life. Fill her with the power of your Holy Spirit and unite her with your Christ that she may no longer be a child of the body but a child of your kingdom. Through the good will and grace of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, o Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy okay. Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Okay. Holy Master, give the blessing. Okay. Look at how, oh, wow. May he who rose, may Christ our true God through the intercessions of his all pure and all immaculate and holy mother, power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God bearing fathers of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna and of Saint Sophia and her three daughters, faith, hope, and love, whose memory we commemorate. And of all your saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Okay, follow me. Okay, 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 okay. follow me. You can, you can give her to them. You can give her to them. Oh, God. 
Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with reverence, faith, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For all pious and true believing Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. That this water may be sanctified through the descent power and operation of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy. that the grace of redemption and the blessing of the Jordan River be sent down upon this water. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy. that the purifying energy of the supersubstantial Trinity may be sent down upon this water, that we may be enlightened by the light of knowledge and piety through the descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy that this water may become effectual in averting of every attack from visible and invisible enemies, that she who is to be baptized in this water may be made worthy of the incorruptible kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For her who is now approaching to receive holy baptism and for her salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That she may prove herself a daughter of light and an inheritor of eternal good things, let us pray to the Lord that she may be planted together with and be a partaker of the death and resurrection of Christ our God. Let us pray to the Lord that she may protect and keep the garment of baptism and the engagement of the Holy Spirit spotless and undefiled until the awesome day of Christ our God. Let us pray to the Lord that this water may be for her a bath of regeneration unto the remission of sins and a garment of incorruption. Let us pray to the Lord that the Lord God may hear the voice of our prayer. Let us pray to the Lord for her and our salvation from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorified Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Mega si kirie katab mas tate erga su ke odis logo sex arke si prosin non ton tab mas si on su. Oxa si kirie, oxa si. O Lord our God, you are great and your works are marvelous, and no word will suffice to him your wonder. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Lord our God, you are great, and your works are marvelous, and no words will suffice to him your wonder. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Are they taking her turn? Oh, she's laughing now. For you, O Lord, willed to be into being all things which before did not exist. You govern the world by your providence. You have harmoniously joined together all creation out of the four basic elements and have crowned the cycle of the year with four seasons. All angelic heavenly powers tremble before you. The sun praises you. The moon glorifies you. The stars stand and serve you. The light obeys you. The abysses fear you. The springs serve you. You have stretched out the heavens like a tent. You have founded the earth upon the waters. You have bounded the sea with sand. You have poured out the air for breathing. The angelic powers minister you. The choirs of archangels adorn you, the many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim, as they stand around you and fly about you, veil themselves before your unapproachable glory. For you, O Lord, being, being God uncircumscribed, without beginning and inexpressible, came to earth, received the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. Because your compassion, love, and mercy, you could not bear to see humankind oppressed by the devil, and you came and saved us. 
We confess your grace. We proclaim your mercy. We do not conceal your gracious and beneficent acts. You have liberated mankind of our mortal nature. By your birth, O Christ, you have sanctified a virgin womb. All creation magnified you when you appeared, for you are God, were seen on the earth, and have dwelt among men. You sanctified the water of the river Jordan when you sent your Holy Spirit upon it, and you crushed the heads of dragons that lurked therein. Um, you can take her and undress her. Whoever's going to undress her can go. You can go and help. You can go and help. You're going to, you're going to, when you, um, you're going to bring her back wrapped in the sheet and the towel. Okay. Okay. Got it. You stay right here. Therefore, Aptos un filantrope vasile pares can in the atis epiphitisios to a you supernatos que yas on to either tuto. Do you yourself, O loving King, be present now also through the descent of your Holy Spirit and sanctify this water? Amen. Do you yourself, O loving King, be present now also here and sanctify the through the descent of your Holy Spirit this water? Amen. Give to this water the grace of redemption, the blessing of the Jordan, making it a source of incorruption, a gift of sanctification for the eradication of sins. Make it to be the unassailable to all hostile powers, the annihilation of demons, and filled with divine power. Like those who would seek to harm this creature, O God, flee far from this water. For I have called upon your name, O Lord, which is marvelous and glorious, and fearful unto adversaries. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the signing of your most precious cross. Amen. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the signing of your most precious cross. Amen. Let all adverse powers be, cre be crushed beneath the signing of your most precious cross. Take my big, take my We pray to you, O Lord, that all unseen demons may withdraw from us and from the, this water. Let no evil spirit descend into the water together with her who is about to be baptized and cause her delusions of thought and disturbance of emotions. But rather we pray that you, O God and Master of all, manifest this water to be water of redemption, water of sanctification, water of purification of body and soul. May this water be relief from bondage, forgiveness of sins, light to the soul, a laver of regeneration, a renewal of spirit, a gift of adoption, the garment of incorruption, the source of life. You yourself have said, O Lord, wash and be clean, remove from your souls all evil things. For you, Lord, have bestowed upon us a new birth of life from above, through water and the spirit. Lord, manifest yourself in this water and grant that she that is to be baptized therein may be transformed through the putting away of the old self which is corruptible according to the desires of delusion by putting on the new life that is ever renewed according to the image of the Creator. May she be planted through baptism in the likeness of your death, O Lord, that she may be also a partaker of your resurrection, and may she also be, by keeping the gift of your Holy Spirit, by increasing the grace committed to her, receive the reward of her divine calling to be numbered among the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven, and you are God and our Lord Jesus Christ. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. For a second. Please stand. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, Lord. Stand. O Lord, our God of our fathers, you sent to those who were in the narc ark of Noah, the dove with a twig of olive in its beak as a sign of reconciliation and salvation from the flood, and thereby foreshadowed the mystery of grace. You have also provided the fruit of the olive to serve in the fulfillment of your holy mysteries and be fulfilled to those who are under the law and to make perfect those under grace. Come now also, O Lord, and bless this oil by the power, the operation, and the descent of the Holy Spirit, that it may be an oil of incorruption, an armor of righteousness, 
a renewal of soul and body, and aversion to all demonic assaults, a deliverance from all types of evil for all those who shall be anointed with it or who shall partake of it. In your glory of your only begotten Son and your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now endeavoring to the ages of ages. Amen. Proskomen. If you want to take your jacket, you take your jacket. Proskomen. The servant of God, Charlotte Sophia, is anointed with the oil of gladness in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the hearing of faith, Amen. her feet, that she may walk in the paths of your commandments. Amen. Your hands have bade me and fashioned me. Amen. Let she who wishes to follow me take up her cross and follow me. Amen. Okay. I'm going to take her from you. Come here, pumpkin. There you go, pumpkin. There you go. Put the oil all over. Put the oil on her. Rub her with the oil all over. Just put, all over. Head, foot, arms, body. There you go. Don't get her head. Don't worry about her hair. All over. There you go. Throw the arm. Okay. Stand back and hold your arms out. He'll put the. The servant of God, Charlotte, is baptized in the name of the Father. Amen. The Son <laughs> and the Holy Spirit. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hold her head. Hold her. Hold her. Don't be afraid to hold her head. There you go. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. The servant of God, Charlotte Sophia, is tonsured in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I know this Amen. The servant of God. Charlotte Sophia is clothed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let he who wishes to follow me take up his cross and follow me. Amen. Walk fast. Go, go. Qui torna mi parasco fortinon, o anabalo menos forso simation, poliele Christe o Theosimon. A robe of divine light, bestow upon him who with vesture arranges himself with light, 
and bestow many mercies, O Christ our God. You may be seated. And the new nose coming back up to wash the neck. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Bless you, your Lord God Almighty, the source of all good things and the Son of Righteousness, bringing the light of salvation to those in darkness. Through the appearance of your only begotten Son and our God, you have given to us, unworthy though we are, the blessed purification for holy baptism, divine sanctification for holy chrismation. You have been gracious to regenerate also your newly illumined servant by water and the Spirit, granting unto her forgiveness of her voluntary and involuntary transgressions. Grant to her also, O compassionate King of kings, the seal of your gift of your almighty and adorable Holy Spirit and the communion of holy body and precious blood of your Christ. Keep her, in, keep her in your sanctification. Confirm her in the orthodox faith. Deliver her, her from the devil and all his magnifications. Through the salutary fear of you, O God, preserve her also in purity and righteousness that she may be pleased, that she may please you both in word and in deed and may be the daughter of your heavenly kingdom. For you are a God, the God who is merciful and loves mankind. And do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, you have a honored man with your own image and created him with a beautiful body and rational soul that is served by the body. You have placed the highest point of his body on the head and have arrayed the most of his vital senses function where without obstructing each other. You have also covered the head with hair for beauty and for protection from the elements. You have indeed joined together all the members of the human body in a useful and harmonious manner so that for all of them we may be grateful to you, O Lord, who is the creator. Through your, own, your holy chosen vessel, Paul the apostle, Lord, you have commanded us to do all things for your glory. Your servant, Charlotte, has come to begin the cutting of her hair with and to thus make her first offerings. Bless her, O Lord, together with her sponsors and grant that they will meditate on all the requirements of your law and do all those things which are well-pleasing to you. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind and to we offer glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, our God, out of the fullness of the baptismal font, you have sanctified with your goodness those who believe in you. Bless these, this newly baptized individual and let your holy and heavenly blessings come down upon her head and as you blessed king david by the hand of your samuel prophet bless now also the head of your servant charlotte by my hand who is a sinner send down upon her your holy spirit that she may grow in body and spirit and attain the gray hairs of old age ever glorifying your name and ever enjoying the blessedness of jerusalem all the days of her life for to you belongs all glory, honor, worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. She who is clothed by you, O Christ our God, bows now her head together with us to you, O Lord. Protect her to remain an invincible warrior in every attack of the evil against them, against her and us, and make us all, O Lord, to be victorious to the end and to receive your incorruptible crown of victory. For it is your pleasure to have mercy and to save us. And to you we offer up glory together with your Father who is without beginning in your own holy good and life praying spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. You have become righteous and you are illumined. You have been baptized. You are illuminated. You have been anointed with the Holy Spirit. You are sanctified and now you are washed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. When Moses yeah, inscribed a cross with his rod extended, he split the Red Sea for the host of Israel that went on foot. Then crosswise he once again struck it and united it on Pharaoh's chariots. Portraying on its surface the invincible weapon, therefore to Christ our God, 
Let us all sing, for he has been glorified. Our heart is taken to be an archetype of the mystery. Okay, come on. For it Don't was dawdle. on the cross, chose the priest from others. And There's no dawdling the in this place. Of the There's no cross unto okay. the four barren church. As awesome for as power and the firm support. O Sis Christon and Vastisite, Christon and Visaste, Alleluia. Ten. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the protector of my life. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of St. Paul to the Romans. Let us attend. Brethren, all who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the sinful body might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For he who has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For we know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Peace be with the reader. Wisdom, let us attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us attend. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you. At that time, the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, 
baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Amen. Glory to you, o Lord, glory to you. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation for your servant, Charlotte, the newly baptized Christian, her sponsors, her parents, and all relatives, and those who have, been, have gathered here to take part in this holy mystery. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wish me luck. Okay. I will take Charlie, the, the servant of God. Charlotte receives the press by the blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Mercy sends unto life everlasting. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Master, give the blessing. May he who condescended to be baptized in the Jordan by John for our salvation, Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate and holy mother, the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of Saint Sophia and her three daughters, Faith, Hope, and Love, and all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Oops. Come on down. Come over this side. Okay, you can blow out the candle. And repeat after me. We present to you, we present, we present to you your daughter Charlotte, your daughter Charlotte, who has been baptized quickly, who's been baptized, chrismated, and has received the precious body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Okay, now you can give it to me. Hi, I'm a COVID baby, and I'm only around my parents all the time. Congratulations, you can hug and kiss as you feel comfortable. There you go. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You did okay.